Hey everyone, and welcome to another Warframe video. Um, yeah, I got Dante. Uh, I've, I've had him since you know a, the day after he released because I farmed him up and rushed him and stuff like that. But uh, I I wanted to do the video on release day. I recorded a video. Well. I thought I did. I forgot to hit record, and after about 40 minutes of playing the new, the new stuff, realized that I had screwed up, and then yeah. So here we are burning. Um, I want to show off Dante. I'm gonna go through his the, through the Leverian uh, really quickly. Uh, I want to show off Dante, and then I'm gonna go do his new disruption because this new the new disruption is really fun. Uh, new disruption, just disruption in general has been improved, so it, like, I didn't hate disruption. Oh, I forgot I got that. Okay. Uh, where is Lloyd Drusus? There we go. Uh, hello, friend. You find me now amidst the bones of all I am. Of the thing that mattered most to me in my too long life. You know, I wasn't sure it was possible to be less than a man. For I was a man, once. This room was to be a shrine to one of my dearest friends. But now that shall never come to pass. Look around, and I will recount what was meant to be. All right, so this is um, currently bugged because the last time I did this, the audio, the music was not playing. So we're gonna uh, go pause this really quick. We're gonna we're gonna pause that and we're gonna try that again. This time we're not gonna have uh, a loud ass backing track to it. Yeah, yeah. Love the song. Got no problem with the song. Ah, uh, hello, friend. You find me now amidst the bones of all I am. Of the thing that mattered most to me in my too long life. You know, I wasn't sure it was possible to be less than a man. For I was a man, once. This room was to be a shrine to one of my dearest friends. But now that shall never come to pass. Look around, and I will recount what was meant to be. Did I never tell you of Dante? No, I suppose I didn't. I suppose I hadn't the fortitude. The entirety of the Leverian is shaped by the lack of him. Though perhaps only in ways that I can see. Though, by definition, a weapon of war, Dante was, first and foremost, a student of history. And he was my friend. Truthfully, much of the Leverian would not exist were it not for that bold, two-fisted academician's devotion to both myself and the cause of better understanding our history and ourselves. It shames me to think of what he would have to say about what I have done to our shared endeavor. Parvos Granum, you know the name. He of the gilded hand and gilded tongue. For an age, he has sought what Dante and I had gathered together, our collected treasures. For one such as Granon, there is no such thing as enough. In an age with no appetite for memory, maintaining a shrine to our shared history seemed folly. And so, in a low moment, I signed it all away. I do not know what possessed me in that moment. I have no need for money, or food, or shelter, or care. Perhaps I merely felt my time was done, that the past had served its use, and me along with it. 
Whatever the reason, I allowed myself an instant to feel my misery to be greater than my life's purpose. A momentary indulgence that may be paid by every future generation until the sun goes dark. I would give much for my friend to have been here. Dante and I, we tempered each other's unique compulsions. You would have liked Dante, I feel. His end began, as it did for so many souls, with the Entrati family. The patriarch of that benighted family had fallen into decadence and disrepute, his name sullied by controversy and implications of madness. Then an erstwhile associate of mine, a gentleman by the name of Lloyd, a master in Trati's man for more than a lifetime, well, vanished. Lloyd, his master, and his entire lineage just gone. There were rumors, of course. Master Entrati was known at that time for outlandish claims and questionable science relating to voices he was hearing, I believe. Gods from beyond the veil and whatnot. After the disappearances, Dante, never one to let a good mystery go, insisted on infiltrating the Entrati manse and learning the truth for himself. I, however, being more familiar with the uh, confidential details of Master Entrati's interests, urged him otherwise. I suppose you wonder why I would do such a thing if I believed Master Entrati to be fit for little more than the asylum. Lloyd was, as I said, a dear friend. We spoke often. His last missive to me was a simple one. We end as we began. As a student of history and its occult apocrypha, I know the terrible import of those words. And so I cautioned Dante to remain by my side. He promised to do so, then did otherwise. And I never saw him again. Perhaps I was not so deft at tempering him as he was of me. And that, I suppose, was my first great failing. The parent of this second and most final one. I imagine you surmised why I have summoned you here. To ask that, in the name of whatever friendship we share, to lend your aid to my impossible predicament. To help preserve, not me, not this shadow of a man I once was, but to keep this monument to history alive, so that future generations may learn from it and never repeat our most shameful mistakes. Granum's obsession with that bygone age demands pieces of such. Ironic, really, that one man's interest in history serves only to strip an edifice whose singular purpose was to protect it. But there remains one slim hope, the sourcing of artifacts from places other than the Laverian, sourced by you at my direction. Help me, friend. Help me, that my one great and final mistake not be the error that turns our collective history and the work of lifetimes to a single miserable use, making a rich man richer. And Dante's Prex card is here because we are Dante. You found him, friend. And Dante's tale deserves to be known. So, allow me to relate it as he passes it to me. Dante ventured 
to the deafeningly silence halls of the doomed Entrati lineage, encountering automated defenses gone senile and violent, chanting in an unright dialect that slurred thought and annihilated hope. That wrong-tongued language invaded Dante's mind, infecting it with the one thing he was defenseless against, the promise of knowledge. Oh. It may be said that a parasite is life from without the body, fighting to exist within the body, despite the body, even as it risks the body. What then do we call knowledge from beyond our reality, demanding to be let in? Poor Dante. If only he had recited to me sooner the wrong-tongued words he had heard. I could have told him, you know, that I had heard that language before. Once, long ago, from the lips of Parvo's Granum. Dante found it, you see. Dante found the book. The Dante I knew was many things, but he was not weak. He struggled, fought, refused its knowledge. There was a moment, I knew, when that chill indifference felt it had won. In those moments, I was with him, wrestling the foul thing he had unlocked. Impossibly, though it cost him dearly, he was winning. But, miserably, I knew the equation was not so simple as that. I told him, Dante, what you have found can never be brought forth. Parvos must never know of this. I felt the chill, the awful loneliness of understanding wash through him. I sensed the moment he chose and I felt Dante give up. When he died, I almost died with him. But the book, the word, did not permit Dante to die. The violent diplomacy which ensued rewrit the very fabric of who he was. I understood things, learned things on that journey with my old friend from night to day. Things which could not survive in this world would have forever made a lie to me of science. What became of him and what stars he may have traveled to is unknown to me. What that wrong-tongued voice may murmur in his mind on long nights, I'm not sure I would want to know. But I know it teaches. It teaches because it longs to be known. And in being known, it exists. And in existing, it survives. All right. That's that's the entire Leverian for the for Dante. I had not heard that last bit yet because I had not gone in there with Dante. Um, <clears throat> let me show off what Dante does, and then we'll go do his the new uh, disruption. Uh, yeah, let's go to Lua. I like I like this one. If violence shows up, I'm probably gonna die, but whatever. Uh, yeah, so Dante is These foes strong. Strong enough to where they're gonna nerf him. Uh, they've already announced that they are going to be doing some tweaks to him because he is a little bit too strong because I could do something like that, and now I just have a shit ton of overguard. And if there was a group, everyone would have that overguard. Uh, let's... Let's get our energy up. Oh, yeah. I put Nourish on him just for energy economy. There we go. That should be good. The Orican Neural Sentry is attempting to purge you from this place. 
Stand by for life support. So he has a bunch of different abilities. So his two, cast that twice, cast his four, it gives Overguard. Cast two, three, four, gives you a book. Book. Three, two, four, gives you birds. And then three, three, four is death. It's just death. It's just you kill everything. Because the way he works is this does four slash damage. That causes all procs, all uh, like dots on, on the character to cash out at a multiplied rate, which means that he's just murdering. So yeah, these are, you know, 180 steel path, and this is nothing. It's a joke. It's a joke for Dante. Like, I get why they might want to tweak him a little bit. Um, I hope they don't tweak him too much. I love him. Uh, I, but I also can see why, like, this would be disruptive to other players. You know, because he's able to wipe everything very quickly. Oh, I'm out of energy. My energy econ is not great. I need to work on it. I'm still, I'm still trying to figure out what I want to do with it. Uh, Nourish is obviously a good one, but it's not, it's not one I think about all the time, so I don't use it all the time. So, you know, he's still a tank, so I can just go through and melee. Oh, look, all my energy is back to maximum. Back to killing. And he doesn't even need to hit you with both of the casts of his three to kill you with his four. That's, like, he's so powerful. Do I want him nerfed? No. Do I think it's probably a good idea to rein him in at least a little bit? Yeah. Because this also doesn't need line of sight. Um, the... The, uh, the four, the three, three, four combo does not need line of sight to kill. Uh, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty powerful. Um, kill. Um, what else? So his, his, basically the, the way his bills work, you probably noticed by now. Um. You fill up those pages of his book, and his four casts whatever combo you put in. So, I already showed off what the combos were. You know, you get Overguard from 224, Death from 334, the birds, and the book. Those are his, his four fourth abilities, essentially. Uh, no sticky corners, but I am still getting stuck on stuff. Uh, but that's because I was bullet jumping into a wall. Um... But yeah, we'll only stay for five minutes with Dante, and then I'm going to switch to Colorbow and uh, do some Steel Path uh, Disruption to show off what Disruption's like now, and uh, show off the new Disruption tile, which I like. So yeah, he just, he just does murder. He does big murder, he does big tank. Like, and, and again, this overguard is for the entire, the entire team that you're on. So you are immediately popping, you know, 30,000 overguard onto everyone within essentially affinity range. I don't think it's affinity range, but... I think it actually might be larger than Affinity Range, uh, because a torment. It's 
If it was violence, I'd be worried, but it's torment. Oh, I'm using the Corinth. Where does Torment go? Okay, bye, Torment. See you later. I could not keep track of of her. I did not know where she went. Um, all right. Anyway, let's get out of here. He he's got a pretty decent kill rate and stuff. He's he's fine, even if he's gonna get a little uh, a few tweaks to him. Everyone was dooming about Mirage, and she's like one of the strongest Warframes now after her changes. So, fucking, you know, I'm. I'm not in the habit of dooming about, about like very simple changes to Warframes. Everybody said that Mirage was going to be dumpstered because of the changes to her, to her like kit and she's now stronger than she's ever been. So I, I don't care enough. Um, let's switch to color though and go do a uh, disruption. Um, I could do it solo. Yeah, I can do it solo. Let's go do disruption on Deimos. Let's go check out the new the new one. No, I'm not doing the incursion. I'll do that later. My friend. Without Dante, I need an associate to bring me the goods Parvos demands. To convey the gravity of my situation, I've relayed my comms with that corpus robber band to your ship Cephalon. I trust you can and will be that associate for me. So yeah, this is the mode you get Dante from. You get him from the new disruption, which is a Fantastic. Like, I, I had Dante, I had two copies of Dante in an hour and a half. Um, obviously I got lucky. Um, man, this hollow vein does not want to die. Oh, because I don't have any stacks of... Uh, whatever. It's not that big a deal. Um, oh, I'm out of energy. Whoops. I have not built up my... Uh, why was that called flash ring? Oh, it's just a reflection. Ugh. Um, I have not built up my... my Bolthor Prime in Karnan yet. I need to finish doing that. I forgot that I had that equipped because I was working on it last night. I literally just got the Incarnan. Uh, Gruzzling. Alright, alright, alright. Let me go kill the Gruzzling. At least attempt to. So this is a new, uh... A new enemy type. Come here. Yeah, there we go. He expired. Okay, we'll come back for that key. Um, yeah, new enemy. The Gruzzling has been added. He steals your keys, or he drops keys, or he drops materials on non-disruption missions. Um, like in Trotty Lanterns. It's very nice. So, yeah, they changed the way this goes. You don't have to just listen for the thing. You can actually find it because it does mark where it goes. 
Jackass. How does this? Right, we'll switch to this. Oh yeah, the the Gruzzling dropped a key back here. It's the blue key. Let's go grab it. So yeah, obviously not super hard to kill the Necromech Exploders. They are, they are not difficult to kill. Um, and I don't even have like properly built weapons for this. I'm just coming in here with my normal loadout. Like I'm not, yeah, this is not a uh, difficult farm to do. Like we were doing 12 rounds missions with four of us each of us taking a key and it took us yeah like about an hour and a half or so to farm out two dante's worth as well as both weapons um i want to try this on on this dude yeah i don't have the uh damage stacks built up oh shit i didn't mean to do that i cast the wrong ability Anyway, yeah, as you can see, not difficult. You get five to seven of them on Steel Path. Ah, no, no. Damn it. Uh, you get five to seven of the Vessel... whatever, the new currency, per, uh, per thing, per one you kill. You know, so you're looking at minimum 20 per round if you're the unluckiest possible. Uh, rounds don't normally take this. Oh, god damn it! It's doing the, it's doing the thing. There we go. There's a bug with Colorvo right now, where sometimes when you teleport, the game freaks out and you can't attack or anything. Um. All right, let's head back. Yeah, before you hear that sound, before you had to listen for that sound, and it was the only way to to know where they were coming from until you got close enough, and then it would mark them. And now it gives you a marker in their general direction every time they spawn, which is super great for people, you know, who might be hearing impaired or might might like play with the sound off or something. Because I would always have to turn on sound to play Disruption, which I usually play with sound either extremely low or muted, because this is a podcast game for me. Like, this is a game that, like, I turn my brain off and I don't, I barely pay attention to what I'm doing most of the time. Which, like, outside of story stuff, obviously. But, like, you know, when you're just grinding away at stuff, you, you need something to do. And, yeah, this is a podcast game for me. And the fact that, like, Disruption kind of made that impossible sucked a little bit and now it's fixed all right now we just have to kill stuff till the final key drops again usually if you had you know a crew with you there would be three other people also killing things getting drops and doing all that Hey, there's the final key. With a little luck, I was able to reverse the conduit's burden. Can you feel the difference? Oh yeah. payment as agreed my associate will make sure of it 
What do you say, Tenno? Once more onto the bridge? No, I just want to show off the mode and show off the changes to disruption. Oh, okay. It was just a broken part. I was like, what the fuck is that sitting there? Um anyway, yeah, we're all done. It's time. Come on here. Yeah, steel path, nice and easy. Demolishers are nothing. We got 24 of the vessel capillaries, so we finished above we finished at what, just about average? There'd be six for each one We've on average. Had a few setbacks, but we are going to crack on. I Lloyd. was trained to assist our comedians, not warriors or animals, but I shall do my best. Okay, so yeah, Let's here's Dante's research stuff. Recover. I have so many parts for him. Uh, anyway, his thing. His main blueprint costs 270. It can drop, as I've shown. I've never bought his blueprint. I have three spares, and I've built him twice. Uh, it drops pretty often. Just get C rotation, so just complete all four each time, and it's fine. Uh, 90 for the neuroptics, 90 for the chassis, 90 for the systems. Onos just takes the Onos, and it costs 360 to, to make... I have that. I'm not a huge fan of either of the new weapons, so I have not really put a ton of time into them. Um, Many back then refused to accept a mere warframe could have written them. Anyway, Ruvox, which is the new melee. So this is a new sidearm. They're both in Karnans. Uh, I still have to figure this thing out. Um, Ruvox is a fist melee. You just do punch wizard shit with it. Uh, the one problem I really have with it is these parts, it requires Lucy two of each of them. to distinguish between the deeds of the Warframes and of the Tenno who presumably operated them. He credits them all with autonomy and dignity. I imagine Dante is responsible for that. Anyway, um, it takes two of each of these to build this so this is a 36 hour craft for a fine fist weapon like it's not the worst I thing but it's not great work by Archimedean Otak on crystallography deep in the archives he was the first to anticipate the unique properties of Argon we owe him so much at least what remains of him is happy he does love mining. Um, yeah, so you need to have both of these, and these are expensive. Like, it's not cheap. So you need eight Entrati Lanterns and Medrusus 20 Bellow Voca and eight Echo Voca. Just to... With a taste and 36 hours to build coats. this. I'm not a fan of this. this these should just be parts you buy and don't need to build, and now. they just, just go into here and put some okay, Bellow or whatever as the parts for this. I don't know. Something like that. It's, it, it's, this is, these things are not worth the amount of time and resources for them. Um, Very good, Dino. But yeah, other than that, down here. really, really great update. Uh, oh, one second. We have to show the best part of the update. Genuinely my favorite part of this update, which I never get to see because I always have creator mode on because I don't want to spoil my friends or other things. But, oh no, not you. I don't care about Fibonacci. Hey, hey bird. How's it going? Are we winning? Bird, we're Are always winning with back? you around. So, you can now offer comfort to the Kavya. Thank you, Bird 3. I'll miss you. I'll miss you too, buddy. I was hey, Tag for. Hi. Yep. 
And then I guess we'll give Fibonacci a hug to hey, fish face. Anyway, yeah. Uh, best part of the update, honestly. My favorite part. Uh, you get that with the rank 5 caveat. Uh, along with being able to color them. Which is why my bird is a chocobo. And, yeah. Anyway. Uh, not a ton else. I guess I could show off the weapons. They're not, like, great. I still haven't even figured out how the fucking Onos works, really, in terms of its incarnate. It it just feels kind of bad. Uh, I have not, I have not upgraded either one of them, which is why I was not showing them off. But I guess I could like, at least show the weapons to you. Rubox and Onos. Where's the Onos? So yeah, it's a wrist-mounted, whatever. Uh, also, apparently that blue color is just not colorable, which is uh, annoying. Um, and the Ruvox, the best part about this weapon is, see how it's got the Entrati Obols on, on the fronts of it? They, it makes a coin sound when you punch stuff. That's the best part of these weapons. Uh, this one is coin punching. That's, that's literally it. I, I am not a huge fan of either one of them. Um, they're fine, but they're not, I'm not like, you know chomping at the bit to use them. Where's my dual liquor? It's my dual liquor. There they are. Um, but yeah, I it, it was not a hard farm. I know it's been like a week since he came out now, but that was just because I kind of forgot to record after I fucked up the recording for the first episode. Uh, or the first time I tried doing this. Uh, otherwise, yeah, Warframe's still going strong. Um... 11 year anniversary right now so you know there's there's free shit all the time uh other than that yeah there's not really a ton else happening um next update's called jade if it gets out on time hopefully it does if not then 1999's the next major update which i look forward to 1999 god do i look forward to 1999 anyway i'm gonna go get this up have a nice night everybody I'll see you.